Hi everybody, happy Thursday. Do you know what is happening one week from today? One week from today is Thanksgiving and I have a fun book to share with you. This book is Thanksgiving. It's written by Ethan Long and it's published by Bloomberry and we wanna thank them for allowing us to share this book with you today. So, if they look familiar, if this cover looks familiar, it's because we've read The Monsters before. We've read Balanstein's and Fright Club. And now I think they're gonna celebrate Thanksgiving. So let's find out what this book is all about. It was the fourth Thursday in November and the monsters gathered for their annual Thanksgiving feast. Everyone chipped in. Virginia whipped up the sweet potato casserole. Sandy mixed the stuffing. Mumford made the cranberry sauce. Of course, Vladimir prepared the turkey. He knew how to cook it just right. Then out of nowhere, he heard a honk, honk, Uncle Gus, Aunt Bessie, Joey and Schmoey, what a pleasant surprise. Vladdy! Vladimir loved seeing his family, even when they dropped in unexpectedly. It was a happy reunion. Vladimir invited them inside. Everyone, this is my family. Family, this is everyone. Oh my, what is that interesting smell? Mashed potatoes with garlic. Aunt Bessie whipped up another batch, this time with eyeballs and earwax. Hmm. Uncle Gus inspected the turkey. Of course, he had his own method. Now that's how you t cook a turkey. Do you see what he did it? Looks like he zapped it. Joey and Schmoey helped Fran make the pumpkin pie, but it turned into a lump pie. They just love maggot meatballs. Hmm. Does that sound good? What are you thinking about the way they are doing Thanksgiving? <coughs> and then there was Spike, who never met anything he didn't want to swallow. Anything. Hmm. Sounds like Murphy. He's never met anything he doesn't want to try to eat. Vladimir loved his family, but they were quickly making a monstrosity of the Thanksgiving feast. Baboon burps, yum. Snail spit makes everything taste good. It needs one more good zap. And they didn't stop there. The bean casserole had 10 sticks of boogie butter in it and the mashed potatoes had a strange look to them and the biscuits were as hard as headstones and the turkey let's just say that uncle gus cooked it to death do you see these pictures see those pictures does that look appetizing mm -mm. but because they were family vladimir was determined to make the best of it okay everyone gather around it's morning already? Could somebody shut that window? The sun is burning my eyes. The room went black. Bad idea. Yeah, I can't see anything. Maybe the food will taste better if we can't see it. What is that crunching sound? Somebody turn on the light. And when the light went on, what do you think happened? What do you think happened? Let's find out. Thanksgiving was gone. Doggone. Spike had devoured everything. For Vladimir, this was the last straw. You, 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 you ruined Thanksgiving. What do you mean we ruined Thanksgiving? We were only trying to help. Vladdy, you can't be mad at us. We're family. Hmm. Do you ever get mad at your family? Maybe your brothers or sisters? Hmm. 
Aunt Bessie was right. They were family. And if Vladimir remembered correctly, family worked together. So he demanded a do-over. They cooked all day. They used whatever they could find. They made potato peel pudding. They cooked a bread crust casserole. They baked turkey bone biscuits. They even made a batch of flea bean dip with just a touch of garlic. And that evening with some corn dogs they found in the freezer came out, out came the perfect turkey. Now that's how you cook a turkey. Do you see what they did? They used the corn dogs. Does that look like a turkey? It looks amazing. Great work, everyone. Are corn dogs made from real dogs? The answer is no. So on the fourth Friday in November, everyone gave thanks. Even Spike was grateful in his own way. They see they left Spike outside. And of course, the food was to die for. And they're making all these yummy food sounds like crunch, smack, slurp, mm, mm, gobble, gobble, the end. So what do you do for Thanksgiving? Who do you celebrate it with? And what is your favorite food? Let me know on our Instagram page. And as always, we always ask the question this time of year, what is your favorite kind of pie? I will be back next week with some brand new stories that I can't wait to share with you. So until then, have a great weekend and I'll see you back here soon. Bye for now.